now that we've discovered it works better than we expected a few years ago, um, what do we do to mitigate the long-term risks of um, things more intelligent than us taking mm. control? Let's get more on this now with Dennis Kenji Kipko, who's a professor of IT security law at the HSB City University of Applied Sciences. He joins us now from Bremen in Germany. Good to have you with us, uh, Professor. It's rather concerning when the likes of Jeffrey Hinton, who's seen as one of the first proponents, or indeed the godfather of, of artificial intelligence, is warning about its potential dangers. Explain to us what are the potential dangers of artificial intelligence in your view? Yes, yeah, certainly. These dangers are manifold. And currently we are talking about disinformation, misinformation. Uh, we are talking about the weaponized use. And I think many of these dangers uh, that are mentioned, we cannot even foresee it as uh, technology will still go through many stations of, of development. And moreover, we cannot foresee the vast majority of development scenarios yet. And as it is often with technology, there are risks associated with the concrete benefits. Um, and these risks um, usually arise at a later point in time after the technology has successfully been deployed on the market. Um, with AI in particular, there is some people are talking about killer robots, for example, but these risks still cannot be predicted, for example, because robots and AI are two completely different um, things. And uh, there we are still receiving many stages of different AI um, developments that are currently still missing um, um, uh, before these threats will become reality. One of the other dangers that some skeptics have expressed is that AI could one day make humans obsolete. Uh, for example, we've seen the trial of AI newsreaders for TV stations in places like Kuwait. So, in fact, my days could be numbered. But is that a real danger here, that perhaps AI technologies could make humans obsolete? Or is that more of a, a worst-case scenario? I think it's more than a worst case scenario because generally speaking, we will always need humans in certain professions. And um, as we have seen it, AI currently can fulfill very, very simple tasks at the moment, uh, but you cannot rely um, on the effectiveness and the truth, for example, when you are using AI for, AI for collecting um, um, knowledge. So I think um, how we work will definitely change. Uh, many professions will change based on AI technology, but I think that um, humans won't be completely obsolete, um, obsolete, so this will not be possible, even if we have advanced AI technology in the future. And we know that governments across the world uh, were slow to really regulate uh, the burgeoning tech industry, particularly social media. They're only catching up with that now, some uh, decades later. Do you think governments now really need to focus on coming up with regulations to uh, regulate uh, the burgeoning AI industry before it takes off? Yeah, definitely. Because unfortunately, um we have seen that there is a global trend that legal issues, compliance issues, ethical issues um, are not questioned at the moment. Uh, the best example is Microsoft, in my opinion, uh, which has gone down the path uh, by integrating ChatGPT very early in February this year into its search engine Bing. Um, and this is, in my opinion, a huge uh, mistake um, because it was just integrated because of some competitive uh, pressures from the technical uh, technology giants. And Microsoft Bing is now trying to make us believe that the AI and that answers our questions is human-like. Um, but as I mentioned at the beginning, it's like robotics. Just because a robot looks human-like uh, doesn't make it human. And uh, the answers are also and sometimes not right, as we have seen it. Uh, we've spoken about the potential dangers, but there are also a lot of benefits to be gained from AI, aren't there? Describe to us how artificial intelligence could potentially benefit humans and society as we know it. Yeah, when we talk about standardized jobs, standardized profession, very too easily to do tasks, then I see clear benefits um, of the use of AI. And there are a lot of tasks, for example, for office workers in everyday life. Uh, we have seen it, uh, a very successful um, um, uh, example here is automatically done translation, uh, which, is, which are things that can be used and where AI is beneficial. But we have to always take into account uh, that we have to double check the results of AI. So we cannot be completely sure if we have an artificial intelligence create the answer that this will be really be right um, there will always professions be needed to double check all these AI results okay professor Dennis Kenji Kipko we'll have to leave it there but thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on TRT world
You're welcome. Thank you.